Two stints at St John's Seminary, Wanish, six years as a student and 10 years as a member of staff. And the word I associate with Wanish is gratitude. Gratitude for all the guidance I received there, for the friendships I enjoyed and all the fun times. For me, it was a place of growth and it helped equip me for the life of a priest uh, to respond to the Great Commission to make disciples, to help people encounter Christ. News of great joy, Frank Johnson. During my 200 bit years at Wanush, starting in 1966, one of the extracurricular tasks I had was newspaper monitor. This involved putting the newspapers out on the window seats in the vestibule in the mornings and collecting them for disposal in the evenings. There was a fancy dress party one evening for which I dressed up in a suit and hat made from old newspapers. I called myself rubbish and won first prize. That was the only time I've ever been to a fancy dress party. Stop when you're winning. My name is Sean Finnegan and I'm an Arundel and Brighton priest, currently parish priest at Caterham in Surrey. And I've been teaching some church history at St John's for the last 15 or so years. I took part in the Selection Conference of 1980, and from that time St John's has been one of the most important places in my life. I wasn't particularly happy at home nor at school, but at St John's I found people of a like mind, with ideals I could share. So St John's became a sort of surrogate home for me. I always felt that I wanted to give something back to the college, and that's why I wrote its history, called In Hope of Harvest. In the last chapter of that, I speculated on the closure of St John's and expressed the hope that if the buildings have to go, something which is sad but understandable, then the body of students, the Johannine community, if you will, would be kept together. It's my devout wish that this will come to be. To all my brothers who've studied at St John's, my warmest greetings and prayers. My first memories of St John's go back to the 1970s as a teenager. We used to make trips from our parish on a Sunday afternoon once a year. I particularly remember the swimming pool, the outdoor swimming pool, with the icy cold water and coming out of it full of weeds and toads. But I suppose my best memories are from the 22 years I spent living at St John's as a student and as a formator particularly for some of the people. In particular, the Franciscan Missions of Divine Motherhood who were there. I'm thinking of Sister Ignatius and Camillus and Rose and others who've gone to God now, and many others we worked with. I'm grateful for their prayerful faithfulness, their example of living the Gospel, and also their straightforward, practical, down-to-earth holiness because it was a huge encouragement to us. They somehow added a very important, gentle touch that's often very missing in male houses. Those are memories I'll always be grateful for.